So they were here in Rams Valley at Triglissen, which is a dormer bungalow uh, with huge amounts of potential, actually. Uh, I'm in uh, the front garden and we're just going to move through quickly and to show you the property. Coming into the entrance hall, immediately there's a stairway that takes you up to the first floor. But we'll do, first of all, have a quick look round on the ground floor. On your right hand side, there is a room that is currently used as a, uh, as a study stroke office, but is uh, equally well sized for a double bedroom. Quick look in here. The window looks out across the front, out onto the uh, Rams Valley Access Road uh, at the front of the building and it's facing roughly east. Moving back out into the corridor we have a very attractive shower room. I'll try and avoid the mirrors because I know you don't like seeing my photographs in these videos at all. Uh, big walk-in shower Close cup, uh, <coughs> uh, a hidden uh, system unit there in the wall, fully tiled, mirrored, etc. Nice small hand basin there, and adjacent to that is part of uh, is another bedroom which actually can act as as, as income. Um, certainly, uh, it's a, a very attractive single bedroom with wardrobes, etc. Plenty of hanging space there single bed which is a truckle bed and uh, could be used for extra family coming down but also could be used as a b and b facility for single people um, there is an integral television here as well so it's a very nice little room which uh, looks out over the rear garden as well so you've got a, a garden view from here um, here on silly there is uh, a real need for single rooms um, and this could act as a very good uh, extra income should you require it. Moving back out into the hallway, it is a spacious hallway inside the front door, all double glazed this property uh, and we'll move in to the lounge, uh, sorry the kitchen diner which has uh, French doors out onto, again, onto the garden, uh, which I'll just take you out through very quickly and have a quick look around because it's quite a large space actually. We're looking up into the sun here, sorry I'll try and shade that a little bit. Barbecue, etc, rockery area, very attractive and uh, is a, an absolute magnet for all the local birds. I'm hoping that we might get some thrushes coming in to show you in a minute. Coming back into the main downstairs room, which is the dining room kitchen, it is very spacious, very open, very light because you're getting light from both directions here. And just a quick walk through, we've got a multi-fuel stove here providing heat uh, during the, the winter but uh, not much used during the summer months. And also this electric Style Arga, which is an all heat um, all year round, which is a fantastic um, cooking facility uh, and has, uh, like the Arga, is running all the time. It's very, very reasonable to, to run, but it uh, majors on electricity, plugs into the 13 amp socket, so it uh, and, and is offering you A, heat, background heat, and B, uh, a great cooking facility. All wood. Work surfaces, very, very well appointed kitchen, plenty of space here, a lot of room for the uh, fridge freezer there as well, and lots of cupboard space. Again, the front window looks out over the garden to the front uh, and out to the Rams Valley bit. We'll just, just try and see if we can get any of the local inhabitants to come up and take some food here. Rams Valley is one of the quietest parts of, of, of Hugh Town. It is a, a cul-de-sac actually that comes up from Buzzer Street, so it's very easy access to all the facilities that uh, Hugh Town has to offer. And uh, just in the distance, looking through here, you can see the the Anglican Church as well, which is well two stone throws away from from the property. Now, 
we'll look quickly into the outer part of, the, of, of this room which takes you through to uh, a very useful utility room with a washing machine dryer here and access to uh, the garage which is um, is plenty of room for, for, for a small car and we'll see the roof element of this in a minute or two because this is part of the, of the potential development of this property. Again we've got access out here through a single door out to the raised um, elements of the garden uh, which uh, face well, well I'm looking roughly into the south of this into the south as this picture is taken. I'm back in the very spacious entrance hall and now we'll take the short stairway up to the first floor. Fully carpeted. And immediately on the right we come to the what I would term as the master bedroom, um, which is a spacious double, um, king size double, um, again with views out to the front over Rams Valley and the front garden with a palm tree and uh, everything there in the directly outside the front of the house. There is an ensuite room and dressing room here which is a, a very pleasant feature of this particular part of the house. The rear <coughs> bathroom windows overlook the rear garden and there is a modern shower bath with over bath shower off the uh, hot tank so uh, this is not an electric shower it's actually a pre um, high pressure shower off the pressure tank all the facilities here are very modern hidden system unit plus hand basin and here you've got your closed storage and dressing area as well which is uh, an added bonus to this very attractive room. Moving out from the bedroom we'll come across the corridor just here very quickly you've got the uh, Gledhill pressure tank unit which feeds hot water throughout throughout the property and off, obviously also offers airing space for towels and bedding. Now into the lounge which is a very again a very attractive room it has uh, window uh, access at both at both ends so on one side you're looking out over the garden again and uh, that helps to bring a lot of light into this room and we also have access out onto the roof uh, which is currently uh, the roof of the of the garage which I'll take you out onto in a second. We have this large lounge open fire if required chimney breast um, and again the window at the front overlooks the garden and the palm tree etc in the front of the building. This property could be offered with uh, the majority of the furnishings left by the owners if, if required um, and that can be negotiated um, but uh, you know it's, it, it, that is open for negotiation as part of the sale. We go out into what is a, really an exterior patio which is rather nice so I'm my finger in the, in the frame there. And we've got here uh, some patio furniture, tables, some chairs, etc. Uh, and we're actually here on the on, currently on the garage roof and looking down towards the access to the property. This is part and parcel of what could be really a, a great addition to this, this property. You have the gable end here. Um, this could come up as a second floor um, and uh, offer further uh, accommodation space if required but actually today I'm just looking at the sky here today nice and blue and uh, a very very pleasant day um, and it's equally pleasant to be able to sit out here and uh, just take in the sun and the bird song you will have noticed that all the way through this 
video you can hear the birds there's uh, a lot of thrushes and blackbirds here so that just proves really how peaceful this uh, area is i'm sort of majoring on some of the garden works there which are still underway here um and th this really is the overview down towards the back uh, the back garden area so we're here Triglisten, um a very attractive property been well looked after by the new owners and developed uh, it also has tremendous amount of potential um, for sale with this property or as a, se a separate there is the opportunity of having a business here on the islands as well um, that is the St Mary's bike hire um, and you will see photographs of, of that on the website uh, and I will do a short video for that as well um, which will be uh, embedded in, into the site but that is your virtual viewing of Triglisten.